right, guys, and we are finally back and ready to get some work on the Camaro. Feels kind of good to get back out here and get the uh, transmission all prepped and ready, the converter all prepped and ready. Um, currently working on some uh, some of the hoses from the transmission to the um, transmission cooler. Trying to get these AN fittings all done and whatnot. This one here is ready to go. And speaking of which, also uh, cleaned out the garage all nice and thorough. Looks a lot better than it did. So, those of you who did not tune in to my last video I did, this is the uh, transmission that AJ's transmissions did. This is the uh, notorious 4L60E. Last night I had to hook up the uh, um, trans um, temperature gauge line so I can get some readings finally before I didn't have one. And then I can't see it, but right here is my uh, trans brake. Got it all hooked up and wired. So, yeah, she's looking pretty. Whole bunch of uh, Sun X internals in there. And then, of course, have the uh, converter. Gotta get ready to go. Have all the bolts and whatnot came with inside the box, and then also the uh, hot shots uh, transmission fluid. Gonna give that a try and see how it works. I figured it'd probably work a lot better than the uh, regular um, ATF. Uh, I forget what brand I was using, it was just a regular store brand. <clears throat> so, actually, kind of excited to see how that one. The uh, FR3 works. Got to go down to the basement and start getting the uh, parts ready to go. As in the... Uh, Got to get the drive shaft ready to go. Drive shaft's a uh, strange engineering drive shaft. Um, pretty sure it's chrome molly. Yeah, it's chrome molly. A lot better in stock. Um, yeah, so I get the uh, parts ready to go for the um, the bracing and whatnot for the transmission. I get this stuff out and cleaned up, a little dusty, <clears throat> but other than that, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much work I'm gonna get done today. I get to mow some lawns and whatnot, um, mine and um, my parents' lawn. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get as much done as I possibly can today. But, yeah, we'll uh, get this thing going. We gotta finish one more, li one more line, like I said, for the A and fitting, and then uh, after that, uh, I think I need to clean, clean under the, uh, on the undercarriage, uh, just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Get it cleaned up a little bit, and um, yep, start the install. So, all right guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, it's uh, day number two of this. I was going to try starting a little bit yesterday on it, um, which I got uh, some stuff done. But for the most part, uh, I've gotten a large majority of it done today. So uh, as of now, transmission is going up. Ugh. And I got the rear end and whatnot all cleaned up. Looking pretty, pretty good, actually. As you can see there. Uh, cleaned up the uh, undercarriage. Now I just got to work on getting the uh, hoses with the AN fittings attached to the transmission. As you can see here. I actually had the transmission all the way up originally, and then I kind of forgot that I uh, didn't connect them. So, I had to lower it back down. It is what it is. So, 
put them up there and tighten them all down and um, start buttoning up the transmission as about as good as I can and that's that to get, get the, the converter in there and get it all set. It really helped to have a car lift, but don't have the room for that. So, all right, back at it. Okay, nothing crazy. Just got the, uh, uh, someone needs to change out the brakes. Uh, it's got the two um, lines here connected for the trans cooler. Uh, cleaned up the um, actual plug. And uh, yeah, so that's all done now. So I'm gonna put the transmission back up into the uh, car there. So, alrighty. Going back up again for the second time. Run the lines to the back of the car. That'll come later. I want to get the uh, <clears throat> need to get the drive shaft put in. Get the drive shaft put in. Lube up the uh, put some grease on the caps on the end on the joint. And the uh, drive shaft is a uh, strange engineering chromoly drive shaft. So get that in, and then get the uh, torque arm. And after that, or but we'll see how it goes. It's been too long since I've done this. Do remember which one goes in first. And then after that, I need to get the other brace in here, but that'll come after all that stuff's done. Yeah. So let's see if I can oh. give you guys a all the stuff out. We're gonna buy me something today. Alright, I think now uh, you can see right now on the camera you can't really see see much. It's a little better. So Get the random lines and sit on the outside here. I wanted to run them on the inside, see how that works first. There, not. It's all in there. Alright.
Okay, and uh, our transmission is officially in the vehicle. Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Mine's a lot of junk up here. And I get the still wire up the uh, trans brake and the uh, transmission cooler. The uh, drive shaft is in. Yes, this right here is and I'll be getting replaced. Currently it's on a back order for the torque arm. I'm trying to side with the I'm not sure if it's QA1 or the BMR or whatever brand it is. So Yep, not too shabby. Alright, now for the uh, stall converter. Okay, well, um, I got qu quite a bit accomplished today. More than I thought I would. Uh, transmission's in. Converter's in. Drive shaft is in. Torque arm is in, but it's got to come back out again. Uh, just with the new one. I uh, got to get the trans brake. Uh, just finished wired up is all. And then just uh, connect to the connector itself. And that will that'll that'll actually be done. The transmission cooler, uh, the temp gauge, that has to be fully wired up. I have to run, finish running the lines for the trans cooler back to the, to, to, uh, for the, tra the lines to the trans cooler in the back. Um, and I think just a few odd and stuff, nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, with the progress, I'm happy with it. So, um, it's, it's been a minute, but I'm happy everything is done. Everything turned out phenomenally. Um, phenomenal. But, yeah, any questions um, about the um, uh, converter from 501 or the um, transmission from AJ's Transmissions? Um, any questions? Uh, go back to the, some of the previous videos I've made. And you'll find them in there in detail. So, other than that, um, I'm going to get cleaned up. I'm just a little dirty, nothing crazy. The wife has some uh, food on the way, so I'm going to get cleaned up. I'll probably watch the boys ride, ride the quads and continue on. But that's enough for one day. So, all right, guys, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, please hit the, the notification bell. Uh, that way everyone's uh, alerted of when a new video is up. Um, some may come faster than others, it depends on what's going on. So, but now that you know this is going and the the, uh, the Camaro that is, it's, it's finally going, um, it should be a, lot, a little better with the, the content coming out. And don't forget the Mustang is still up at uh, AJ's Transmissions, um, getting the transmission done. And um, the uh, Bubba from 501 should be taking a look at the converter and uh, determine whether or not it's going to need a new one which i would say probably will because i want i want the best for that car so all right guys later <laughs>